everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. Uh, in this video we're going to discuss uh, you know the complete new concept because still now what we discuss in JavaScript is something different and what we are going to discuss now is different okay so we are going to discuss today is the asynchronous programming in JavaScript okay so in the way of programming we have actually two things one is synchronous programming and asynchronous programming so by default JavaScript is synchronous by using various other features and there are some uh, extra features are available so using them you can convert a JavaScript program to be asynchronous so first let's understand what is synchronous what is synchronous and uh, asynchronous okay um, let's see here what is synchronous process or synchronous programming is uh, assume program so what is program program is contains uh, you know uh, a bunch of uh, statements right so if you execute a bunch of statements one after the other that's called synchronous okay uh, if you are executing the statements uh, it's not exactly one after the other uh, you can execute in any order that's called asynchronous for example uh, you have uh, some statements like statement 1 2 3 4 5 okay so when you write a statements 1 2 3 4 5 in your JavaScript program and if you run the program so what happens is it executes one I mean statement number one and then statement number two and then statement number three so one after the other it means uh, in order to execute the second statement it must wait for the first one to complete if that is finished then only execute a second statement if that is finished go over the next statement so this one is dependent on other and it just wait for the other to execute it this is called as synchronous and opposite to synchronous is asynchronous even best example you want to tell you I want to tell you uh, this assume uh, a road okay so this road is having uh, cars on the road in a single way uh, it's a one way road which having multiple cars like uh, five cars are available and one car after the other now so car number one car number two car number three car number four car number five so all the five cars going in a one direction one after the other synchronous uh, what is synchronous is, is for car number two while while going on the road the car number two is met with some repair okay so if car number two is getting repair can you tell me what could be the possibility first possibility let's wait all the remaining uh, you know the cars number three to five has to wait uh, until the car has to get it repair and after it got repair and everyone has to go this concept is called synchronous okay and what is asynchronous is uh, in between the cars two has got some uh, you know some uh, break uh, some issue it's got breakdown so what you have to do is just take out the car aside just keep the car aside and just continue other cars in the way and whenever this gets ready and continue the flow so this is called as asynchronous okay so let's uh, uh, how can you achieve this asynchronous programming is uh, there are multiple concepts you can achieve the asynchronous programming in JavaScript it's called uh, uh, the very first one is callbacks okay and the second one is called uh, promises and third one we have uh, async and await okay so using these concepts you can make asynchronous programming in JavaScript so let's start with uh, these concepts so first of all we understand what is synchronous and asynchronous and then uh, we'll start with callbacks uh, so let me um, copy the first folder I'll just paste it uh, I think it's the folder number 31 over 32 js underscore async programming okay okay so let me delete all this so here I just modify async programming and um, let me copy this and then I'll paste it so let me open this in a uh, uh, I'm not using live server because I just wanted to show you something so I just open a HTML uh, 
it's normally in the browser no live server is running just we have to refresh so whenever we want it um, yeah so setup ready uh, see here uh, what I do is let's take like this let's take console.log of car 1 okay first car so like that multiple cars you have a uh, car number 2 car number 3 car number 4 car number 5 okay so 5 cars I mean 5 statements you assume and I have uh, right one after the other and then I execute a program if you execute a program like this what happens if you refresh you got the result car 1 car 2 car 3 car 4 car 5 the so same order what you have written the same order it executes this call synchronous but let's do one thing um, what we can do is let's take car number 3 got some uh, breakdown so it takes some time to start the car number 3 so what I do is uh, we already discussed the set interval and set timeout functions so I'll just do one thing I just cut this I'll do a set timeout and here I'll just take uh, a function you can just take a normally a function like this but I want to make an arrow function uh, comma 3000 okay and in this function in this function I am gonna call this so what I am doing is using set timeout I am just taking some time to execute the console that log of card 3 so it will take 3 seconds to do this I save it now check what could be the possible output do you think 1 2 after 3 seconds 3 then 4 then 5 no so in this case javascript will behave like an asynchronous so what happens is if i refresh just see 1 2 4 5 and after 3 seconds 3 you want to see again just refresh see 1 2 4 5 immediately and after some time 3 so it means even though you write this particular statement uh, after 2 but still javascript is not going to execute in a same order so this is also one more way where you can achieve the asynchronous programming okay um, so it's uh, whenever when javascript sees this line it sees that yes it will take uh, three seconds time to uh, to move on so what happens it execute other statements and after that after time comes three seconds time then it's time to execute this one so this is called asynchronous programming okay fine i hope you understand this concept and the next video let's talk about callbacks and how callbacks uh, it behaves like an asynchronous program i mean how they can use in asynchronous programming let's see here thank you so much for watching and we'll meet next video thank you